Well, hey guys, how the hell y'all doing today? Look it, what's that look like? Hey, it's Little Red, the son of a bitch started this morning. How's that sound? I didn't do nothing. I just jumped in him and I freaking cranked him and he started. But it's also a lot warmer. It's like minus nine degrees Celsius. So what is that? Like freaking, I don't know, plus 15, plus 20 Fahrenheit, something like that. I don't know. But yeah, he started. So uh, we're going to run out and we're going to do a little bit of feeding. And then I'm going to put Big Blue on the shredder and we're going to come out with some straw bales and we're going to shred a bunch of bales out here. Well, I shouldn't say a bunch. Two for sure, possibly three. Mm, so, And then we're going to clean up the shop some more and hopefully I'll get this sucker inside the shop so I could play with them. Because for some reason my friggin' brakes aren't 100%. They're friggin' very soft, very squishy. How's that sound? Mm, so, anyways, we'll uh, get this feed brought out and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Alrighty. Well, we got the cows all fed up, and there now we're shredding out the straw. We brought two bales out here already, and I'll give half of this one roughly. Um, since we pulled 14 head out of here, they don't need a, as big a bed down area. So half of this bale, I'll just take it home and give it to the cows in our what we call corral two, I think. You'll see how much is left when I get done this pass. Not a hell of a going to be a heck of a lot left when I get done here. But I know these girls will be thankful for the straw. Okay, when I'm done here, I'll bring you guys back. There, that looks better. I know these girls will appreciate a new bed, a fresh bed. I know some people say cows are dumb, they don't they don't understand a fresh bed, but believe me, they understand a fresh bed. I've I've seen it where we haven't put straw down for a while for whatever reason and they're laying out in the snow. And then you put them fresh straw down, they come right to the fresh straw and they'll lay right on the fresh straw. And they're enjoying their breakfast. Dinner, supper, breakfast tomorrow, dinner, supper, so on and so forth. Okay, so now we get to go home and Grab another straw bale for the animals in the corrals. Talk to you guys then. Alrighty. So fed up and bedded down. Looks good. They look happy now. So this afternoon, we gotta get that friggin' white faced cow with the bad eye. There she is. And I think what it is, she's got a speck of this cut feed blown in that eye, and it's giving her grief. So we're gonna have to get in there and clean it out and treat her and so on and so forth. Uh, so the rest of them are looking good though. 
aren't you guys? This one right here, this red one is a heifer. Uh, there's another solid red one way back laying down there and she's a heifer. And then this black 67 right there looking at us, that's a heifer. And 62, that black brockle face. That's a heifer. So those are all first time calving heifers coming up. We only got four calving this year. So. But they look all right. Like she looks okay for heifers. The rest of these girls are all cows. Like four, five, six year old type cows. And they're not wild. Hey girl. Hey. They're not super tame where you can just walk right up to them and pet them like some guys' cows. I don't treat mine like that. I don't know if you guys remember this one. She was a heifer last year. And when she calved, she came after me. That's CP's cow. That one right there. And so, but they're done. The bulls are all bedded down again. The cows in the pasture are all bedded down. And the new cows in our main corral. They're all bedded down. I guess CP got her way. They got to stay in that corral for now anyways. Little Red will be, hopefully I'll get a chance to change that heater out on him. Close this before somebody decides to come out. CP shoveling the snow out of the grain manger and those guys are fed up I'll just take you in here and show you the barn You working hard, babe? No. Hardly, working. hardly working. So yeah, and that's what this looks like in here. It's all bedded down. So sweet. Nice. But uh, I'm gonna have to get in here at the Bobcat, right at this doorway, and clean all this out right here. Because when the day comes that we want to start calving and we got to close that door, I won't be able to. And so, and we'll see about pulling some of the snow off the roof at the same time. Alrighty, guys, we'll talk to you later. Got you in here first. How's it going, everybody? So, anyway, we're in the shop and it's freaking cold in here, but we got company. Right, babe? Yep. Hi. Kylage came over for a visit. And check this out. He brought me a gift. Brought me a cap. Awesome. Thanks, Kai. Oh, no problem. Appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, he came out for a quick visit. He was out in the area and, yeah. Here, I better take the racing goggles off. See, I got the matching one. Yeah, there. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so... So yeah, they came out to check out uh, our place, just like we were at his place, and having a nice little visit here, so. Great. It's good to have uh, good friends and good YouTube friends come over and keep in contact. Yeah, for sure. Right, babe? That's right. That's right. 
And since his brother doesn't want to be on camera, I'm not going to scroll you. <laughs> so, but yeah, we're just showing him our mess, our junk, and who knows, maybe I'll pawn some of it off on him. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to talk to you later. Well, hey, everybody, how y'all doing today? It's uh, Saturday here. So we didn't quite get everything done that I wanted to do yesterday. And the chores are all done here now. For now, anyways. We'll have some more choring to do this evening, but uh, for now they're done. She's kind of foggy, frosty, overcast. You look out, you can see it farther out there. Um, I don't know what temp is. It's actually quite nice. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's minus 10. And there's like no wind. The odd snowflake coming down. It's kind of a beautiful day, actually. So we're just heading over to the shop here. I got our plywood and uh, put it on our shelving. I know I had lots of guys telling me, you gotta go with three quarter inch, three quarter inch. Well, I went with half inch. And if it's not heavy enough, I'll slide some 2x4 and 2x6 in her underneath. <clears throat> well, we got to get some of this stuff put away already to uh, make room so we can get back to work at welding stuff for people. Mm, so, now, this thing, I never did put the new heater in it yet. Oh, she's hot. That fucking hose. They're almost leaning towards. Maybe. Just maybe. Yep. Someone did say that there's a possibility I ended up with an airlock in it. And I'm almost wondering that maybe they're right. Because... That engine block is warm. And this freaking hose right here, I can't hold it. I can't touch her. She's that hot. Mm, so, so yeah, I'm almost thinking that there was a freaking air. Somehow it got an airlock. The heater was still working, but it was airlocked. So it wasn't, the water wasn't moving. The coolant wasn't moving. I'll bet you anything the way it feels. I'm going to jump in this sucker. And he's going to, boom, he'll fire just like that. Just like summertime. Mm, so, I can pretty much guarantee friggin' tee it. Yeah, the block is even, it's warm all the way through. Mm, so. Just like summertime. That ain't no cold start, guys. So, I bought a heater, and I probably bought batteries that I didn't necessarily need. But we got brand new batteries in her, so we're good for a while. And we do have a brand new heater as a backup. So, anyway. I'm going to go to work at putting stuff away here, so we'll bring you guys back later. Well, she's coming, guys. That cabinet holds a lot of shit. I got that sucker. They were throwing it away at uh, one of the places I haul for. So I brought it home, and I'm using it as a paint-slash-oil cabinet and shelf. It works pretty good. We got a lot of stuff in there. And there's still lots of room for more stuff. And the shelf, well, I did get half inch plywood, guys, see? But uh, I threw a couple of two by fours across just to help it out. And, and I think that'll be fine now. And so all the way up, got stuff for everywhere up there. So yeah, she's coming together now. We'll be able to put a lot of stuff up there. So back in a bit. Alrighty guys, so uh, basically played in the shop all afternoon. Um, 
and now I'm just out here getting a little bit of feeding already and I'm just out here stirring up my pile a little bit mixing it so that uh, everything is mixed up a little better and there's a lot less sorting that happens so and just so you guys I don't know for all all of you that are new and for anybody that isn't new but if they can remember when we made this pile uh, I had a talk with th about this with Kylage yesterday when he was over um, there's 144 bales in there okay and we're feeding 60 head of cattle and everybody's on cut feed this is what I call cut feed tub ground feed okay so we ground we were tub grinding the day we made the pile was November 20th so and here we are end of January like I think tomorrow's the first actually of February and there's enough cut feet to get me through I'd say all of February and well into March that's 144 bales is feeding 60 head of friggin cows all winter so I don't know guys, it cost me $1,300 to tub grind all this material, to tub grind 144 bales plus the fuel for the machine, so basically it cost me, I'd say we, I'd say we probably put uh, about $300, $400 worth of fuel into the machine. So about 1700 bucks works out to right around I don't know eight or eight or nine dollars a bale is what it works out to. But here we are, we're gonna get through we'll definitely get through February. I'm that I'm hundred percent sure of. We'll get through February on what's left in that file. <laughs> And yeah, so that's uh, December, January, February, March. That, or no, December, January, February. Three months worth of feeding where normally we would be, well, basically 70 bales a month. 70, maybe a little better than 70 bales a month if we were just putting round bales out. Uh, basically three bales three bales a day two and a half to three bales a day is what we would put out otherwise 30 days in a month times 2.5 so you're looking at about yeah 75 to yeah 75 to 80 bales a month two months is a is 140 bales and we gained an extra month out of that right mm, so I think it was worth it and we're gonna get all of February and we'll get all of uh, well into March not all of March but well into March and so anyway with that I think I'm gonna let you guys all go this is a two-day video again it's a little on the long side but uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow I guess so give us the old thumbs up comment subscribe Tell your friends, tell your family, get them on board, get them out here, get them to sub subscribe with you. Uh, so, alrighty, fun, 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 let's get her done.